The last three months have been some of the worst and best months of my entire life. There's been ups, downs, more ups, and even more downs. But before we get into the last three months, I have to take you back three years. The year is 2020. Australia is on fire. Protests are happening all over America, and somehow Billie Eilish wins every Oscar known to man for this absolute banger. Duh. Fuck, I hate that song. Now, obviously, there is one more huge event that literally shut down the entire world that started in 2020, and that is where this story begins. January 2020. Jess and I are only two months away from being together for seven years. So I plan this massive trip to pop that special question. Now fast forward to March 21st, 2020. This is the night that we are meant to be flying out to the Maldives. Jess and I are packed ready to go when I get a text from Singapore Airlines. Your flight has been cancelled. At this point, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know where this story was going to go. But for the next few years, something happened that I never thought would happen in my entire lifetime the world shut down nobody was allowed to travel to any country people were having babies left and right including us which is weird I don't know why everyone was having babies. So yes, Jess and I became parents to the best kid in the world, Aizen. Our holiday was put in credit instead of being refunded and my special gift for Jess was hidden in the cupboard and forgotten. So yeah, it's been an interesting three years, but that story pales in comparison to the stress, anger, and just complete mind fuckery that I've gone through in the last three months. So make sure your harness is tight and your seatbelt is buckled because you're about to go on a roller coaster full of emotions. January 2023, I reach out to Flight Center to rebook our holiday. And after a day of destroying escape rooms with Papa Hanley, I receive an email. Hi Maitland, thank you for your patience whilst I found the answer to your credit. What are we in the fucking medieval times? Unfortunately, your credit expired on the 30th of June, 2022. Entire travel has not extended the credit as they extended it once already. This means there is no credit to be used. Please let me know if you need assistance in booking a brand new package. When I read this email, at first my heart sunk a little bit, okay? But then I was just consumed with anger. And you may be thinking that's silly to get angry about, it's just money. And you're right, it is just money but that just money was enough for a fucking house deposit. But I think what I was more pissed about at the time was the email in general. Please let me know if you need assistance booking a new package. After knowing how much money I had lost already, that audacity to be able to send that as well to try and make me spend more money with you. Holy fuck, I was infuriated. And so began my three month long mission to try and get back what was stolen from me. So for the next two months, I was emailing back and forth with Flight Center every single week, trying to figure out what was going on, but no one gave a fuck. March 1st, I went into the store in person and I talked to this lady that possibly changed everything. Now, I don't remember your name, but if you're watching this, Thank you. It was literally her last day. So she gave me ideas to be able to say fuck you to Flight Center and sort everything out myself. One of those tactics was to skip the middleman and go straight for the hotel in the Maldives, which I did. I contacted them and to my surprise, they actually emailed me back the next day. All right, guys. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to leave the next few minutes in this video, but I really wanted to show you guys the raw emotions throughout this whole mess. So here it is. All right, guys, I've just finished training and I've gotten an email from the hotel. This is like maybe or break we're gonna find out now whether or not they're gonna extend the period for the hotel and if they don't yeah I don't know anyway, I'm gonna open it now I'm gonna read it with you guys at the same time so oh. Wish me luck, please. Dear Mr. Hanley, thank you for your email. Kindly allow me to revert on behalf of my colleague. We're delighted to extend the validity period of your credit for your stay request for this March 2020. No fucking way. No. No. This is a W right now. We've had so many L's over the past three years that it's it's so, yeah, it's so nice just to have one win. I'm gonna read the rest. However, since the booking request for received through a travel agency, this credit amount lies on their name, hence we request you to coordinate this through them. Fuck. Uh, okay, we got one W, guys. The fact that we are able to extend the hotel is good. The bad news is I have to call back the middlemen and see if they will accept these terms as well. Hey, how are you? I was talking to someone the other week. Give me a second, let me check if she's available and I'll put you through to her. Awesome, thank you very much. There's a turkey in the tree looking at me right now. What are you doing in there, mate? Stop staring at me. Hi, uh, hi Maitland. Yep. I'm sorry, this is currently on my call. Can I get it to call you back? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm wondering if she actually is on the phone or if she's just trying to avoid me because these people have been trying to avoid me for quite some time now. I'm deciding to call them back because I think they're ghosting me again. Hey, how's it going? I got told I'll get a call back, but I still haven't heard anything yet. Let me check if she's available. Awesome, thank you. Fuck, man, they are ghosting me hard. <laughs> Yep. Uh, she's, she's actually not available at the moment. Do you know why she's not available? She's, she is actually on another call. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is, this is getting very, very frustrating. As I said yesterday, I feel like they're just trying to, like, brush me off. That's not going to fucking happen, okay? So today, we're calling them again. Oh, can I, you? I called yesterday, and I still haven't heard back. Allow me just to put you on hold and check it. You've got to be fucking kidding. These people are ghosting me so fucking hard. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Maitland, uh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Maitland. I called um, like a week ago just about uh, Meldives trip. Yes, I, I remember. I've talked to the actual hotel at the Meldives. Yeah. They said that they were happy to extend the credit, but I had to do it through you guys. But the file has expired and it's closed, so I don't have any authority whatsoever to do anything. I'm going to need you to send an email. Yeah, yeah, that's why. It was just because when I did get flight center to email you guys, they just kept getting emails back saying that it couldn't be extended. So that's why I just went to the actual hotel themselves and they said that it's okay. So if it's okay with them, surely we should be able to work something out. I, I understand, um, but I just like my hands are tied. I don't, there's nothing that I can do on my end. So it will have to go higher up than me. Like as far as we're concerned, like the file is closed, the credit expired. <laughs> oh, fuck off. This fucking grinds my gears, honestly. The hotel, everything, they've all said that it's okay. The only one is the middleman. I swear, I've never been this stressed in my entire life. Like, just, it's, it's wins, it's losses, it's wins, it's losses. Fuck me. I'm just a ball of stress right now. <sighs> all right, guys, it's almost been a week since the last update and I've still heard nothing at all So I'm gonna try and give them a call today and hopefully get through as you've seen last time the calls don't usually go through but wish me luck anyway <laughs> Fuck off imagine that guys nothing again. I guess I'll send off another email. This is just bullshit no one has been able to help me. So I've decided to take this a step further. I'm gonna to talk to the hotel again and just try and sort this out myself because these people are just so annoying. They're not helping at all. And honestly, like they're making my life so stressful right now. If it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for Eisen, I would be absolutely fucking wrecked right now. He's making my life much happier at the moment. I can't talk to anyone about this. That's the most stressful thing. Like literally can't talk to a soul about this because Jess obviously doesn't know and I don't want anyone else to spill the beans. I'm sorry guys, most of this video is literally just gonna be me sitting down talking to the camera, but this is what really happens. This is real life right now. This is the shit that I'm going through and I just wanna have you guys join me on this little journey. And hopefully by the end of all this guys, we're gonna have some good news. Alright guys, I've got another update right now. I have to be really quiet because Jess is just out there. But I have an email from the hotel. Please be informed that we have been advised by the agency to utilize the credit amount as a direct booking with yourself without the involvement of the agency. Fuck you! We got a W. We got a big fat W. I had to go out and do this myself. Moral of the story guys, if you want something done right, do it yourself. <gasps> I'm so happy that I'm documenting this whole journey as well. I don't know if it's gonna be boring or not, I'm sorry, but I just, I wanted to share this shit with you. This is like my real, real life. Ah! Oh, slam, baby! <laughs> oh, okay, guys, it's a new day. You may have noticed something already, but yay! So there's currently seven days until we're meant to be flying out. And um, turns out, hello, Eisen, how are you? Cool, that's good. Turns out I've torn the ligament in my left thumb. And not only that, I got sick yesterday. Seven days from the biggest trip of my life. But that's okay, we still got W's. The hotel is completely booked now, guys. I'm so, so happy about that. We got seven days now to book flights. Jess still has zero idea what's happening. And I'm excited, Aizen! Ready? Ah! Whoa! Boom, baby! Slam! 
Slip! The biggest thing that I'm actually worried about now is leaving Aizen. I've sorted the babysitter out for the whole time that we're gone, but I'm gonna miss him so much. Slip! All right, guys, I've got one more update for you now, and this may be the last update that you get because it's all sorted. I have the flights, I have the hotel, everything is booked, set in stone now. I'm so fucking excited. You have no idea how pumped I am for this. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. This is why it's been good to record all of this for you guys, because you know everything that I've been going through. You know all the struggles, all the stress that I've been going through. It's finally done. It's finally sorted. We're going to the Maldives. Oh. I'm just so fucking happy. I'm so happy, guys. Yeah, fuck. I'm happy. <sighs> All right, so, um, guys, I've just woken up this morning. We're four days out. <clears throat> Still a little bit sick, four days out. eisen has been sick as well, so he's been up all night. And it's been a rough night. We're taking him to a hospital today. Also, on top of that, uh, I got this email that I'm going to read to you guys now. Our accounts team was in the process of reviewing the credit file and they found that the amount of 14560 USD has been successfully refunded to the travel agent, hence we'll need you to pay another 14560 USD. Oh. Everything was meant to be all good, it was all set in stone. Like there's... There's obviously way worse shit happening in the world. That's what I just keep thinking to myself. Like, there's way worse things that are happening to people. Like, I'm complaining about this. Hopefully from the title, if this all goes well, hopefully from the title, you'll understand why this has been so stressful. But this is meant to be the best time of my life. And yeah, as I said, like, a lot of people have gone through way worse. I know that this is fucking nothing compared to most other people. But, like, I don't know. It's a big fucking deal to me. It's a big fucking deal to me. I don't know. Today I just feel defeated. Oh, that's all I got for today. After spending the whole day at the hospital with eyes and making countless calls throughout the day, still trying to keep it a secret from Jess, I received word that entire travel would cover half of the holiday, which meant that the holiday was back on again and it was almost time to reveal everything to Jess. Alright guys, I've got this mystery box here for Jess. She has to go through it and try and find a special prize that I've laid out inside of it. Put your hands oh, in there, Jess. That was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already scared. I don't want to do it. Yuck. Oh, yeah. That is disgusting. You have to move that fish head in order to get to the prize. I'm not doing it. The prize is underneath it. I'm not doing it. Trust me, you want to do it. <gasps> I can't do it. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for a white envelope. Oh, what does that say on the front? Secret prize. Secret prize. It's probably so Open that Ooh. baby up. Joking or not? Is this the prank? No, I'm serious. I, I don't know. No, I'm being serious. It was very, very stressful and very hard, but the past three years have been tough, and I got our trip finally. I've lost my mind right now. Oh my god, when are we going? 22 hours. Tomorrow? Yes, we leave tomorrow morning. I can't believe I'm going to the mouth eyes. <laughs> oh my god. I did something nice for once, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I could not make this shit up. It is one day before we are flying out. We are flying out in literally 12 hours and our babysitter canceled. But we did get someone else to fill in the spot. So we're lucky we got that. But yeah, oh my gosh, that was just another hour and a half of roller coaster 12 hours before we're meant to fly out. I can't make this shit up. This is the craziest fucking story. So the day was finally here. The day that was three years in the making. And honestly, all I could think about was how much I was going to miss Aizen. So we said our final goodbyes to our son and headed to the airport. We're flying out in like an hour. T minus an hour. All right, guys, status update. Our flight's been canceled. It's just more L's. Turns out that we went to get our luggage. Jess has got hers. Nice. Don't have mine. It's on the flight, I think, that we were meant to be on. The L's continue, baby. And so we went home to surprise Rye and spend our seven-hour delay with our son. Get pranked, you stupid idiot. Fuck you, guys.
doing? We're not even going to the Maldives. Can't fucking pray! I'm so confused. Then after spending seven hours with Isaac, it was time for us to head back to the airport. All right, guys, we're about to board. Jess doesn't want to sit on the ground because she's too bougie. But yeah, we're about to board this 15 hour flight. So hopefully we get some sleep on this flight. So now we're at the Doha airport. 15 hours flying down, five more to go, and then a seaplane. We got this. We just got upgraded to business class. Let's fucking go. And we're here, guys. We're at the Mel Knives right now. We'll see you when we're at the hotel. Oh, get out of my office. <laughs> That little table's sick. Oh, you can swim out here and say hello. Wait, what? Yeah, yes. Can you actually? Yes, can. No way. Oh my God. And look at the sunset. This is ridiculous. What is it? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. You are kidding. That is right above our bed. Oh my gosh. It's another little thing. I'm going to swim under every single one. This is not real life. Okay guys, Jess is outside right now. Today is the day. Today is the day that I'm gonna do the big thing. This has been a crazy fucking experience so far just to get to this point. This is something I wanted to do three years ago for our seven year anniversary. It's now our 10 year anniversary today. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally do it. You guys have been fucking talking about this for a long time. Fuck, it's so cool that I get to share this moment with you too. Oh, fuck me. Okay, all right, well, let's do this shit. Lightweight. We're breakfast, Jess. I think this floats. Oh my god, please don't drop it. This is scary. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, it does float. This is awesome. It does. I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. Jessica <laughs> and so <Sode. laughs> <laughs> This was meant to happen three years ago. Yeah. We've been together for 10 years now. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know how oh to put this God, on. Shaking. It's, it's done. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. We did it, guys. <laughs> it's oh. so cool. I'm shaking. Is it the right size? It's a little bit big. Oh, shit. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. After breakfast, we jumped on our bikes, rode 20 meters, and decided to stop at the all-you-can-eat buffet for breakfast number two. Morning. And a couple of chockies. Then, we went to our private beach for the day and did a whole lot of snorkeling. All right then, time for Scuba Steve to jump back in the water and catch some gnarly, there's not much waves. Scuba Steve out. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just letting you know I'm peeing right now. I'm literally not even staying in the water anymore. So I don't know if it's peeing in the water or it's pissing my pants. Three hours later, after being burnt to a crisp, it was time for a massage. I think it was a massage. And to end the night, we had dinner on the beach with all of our crab friends. Yes, I'm a lobster. Guys, I got so burnt yesterday. My whole body is just red. Look at the difference here. <laughs> I'm so red, I'm so burnt. But today, we've got another full on day and the whole day is just water sports. Oh my gosh, I'm sore. This was our last full day at the Maldives. As usual, the day started with pancakes, followed by a slip and slide session on our personal slide. All right, boys and girls, it's low tide right now. It's safe, do not go down the slide during low tide because there's like a big drop at the end and then it's shallow, but I feel like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Get the speed on this thing! <laughs> that hen part looked like it hurt! After washing off the 10 kilos of salt from the ocean, we played a little game of Jess Sucks, explored the island, made new friends, and smashed a whole bunch of water sports. Wow, so cool. Guys, 
this is fucking unreal. I am so happy that we've taken this trip. Like, oh my gosh. The shit we've done on this trip is unfucking real The Maldives, hands down, the best holiday I've fucking been on. This is beautiful. I love this place so much. Now at this point, my skin was a beautiful shade of red. My eyes were drier than the Sahara Desert and my stomach was screaming for food. But before that, I needed another massage. Yeah. That's nice. For lunch, we chilled on the beach, played some games, and relaxed watching the sunset until we had more food. So, it was already our last day, and as usual, it started with some early morning pancakes, watching our last sunrise, and saying our final goodbyes to the Maldives and the amazing people we met on our trip. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was time for us to leave this little slice of heaven and head home. As sad as it was to leave, I was so excited to see Aizen and just get back to normal life. There were so many L's throughout this journey, but at the end of the day, it was all worth it. And that's why the past three months were some of the worst and best months of my entire life.